air frying is all the rage at the moment and I can understand why. You get that deep fried finish but with less oil or no oil at all. So I'm going to show you how to make crispy fried Brussels sprouts and kaolettes because I just love their colour and I know they go extra crispy in the ultimate fry deluxe. Now the Brussels sprouts are quite large so I'm just going to cut them into halves and if they're really large you can cut some of them into quarters. I kind of like different shapes just as long as they're roughly the same size. You can see how gorgeous and fresh these are. And while these are frying, I'm going to serve them with a bit of a tangy dressing that has sultanas and French shallots. It works so nicely with the texture of the crispy kaolettes and Brussels sprouts. Okay, last two. And I'm going to pop them into a bowl. So it looks like quite a lot, but they do shrink substantially as they air fry. So one packet of the kaolettes and I'm going to leave them whole. And if you were deep frying, you'd need a lot of oil, but when you're air frying, just a small splash, just to coat everything, a pinch of salt, and just use your hands to coat everything. Okay, it's as simple as that. Okay, I'm just going to grab the basket and I love this basket because it's non-stick and it's so easy to wash up afterwards. So we'll pop them into the basket. And this one is surprisingly large for such a compact, cute little machine like this. Now, I like to cook this on a high heat, so I'm going to manually do this. It's going to be cooking at 200 degrees, and I'll set the time for 10 minutes to start with. Give it a shake and continue cooking it for another 10 minutes. Just want to make sure you get a nice, even colour on the kaolettes and the Brussels sprouts. Okay, while they're air frying, just the quick vinaigrette, some apple cider vinegar into a small pot, along with some French shallots, just one large French shallot. Some currants or sultanas, whatever you like, just for that pop of sweetness. And I'll also add a small splash of extra virgin olive oil, just the tiniest amount to bind everything together. Pinch of salt, some freshly cracked pepper, and I'm just going to turn the heat on. We want it to be on a medium to low heat and we just want to warm everything through. All right, let's have a look at this. Oh, that is the ultimate sound. Crispy Brussels sprouts and kaolettes. And to serve this up, we'll just pile them into a plate. Oh, so good. And you can see why I've used both of them because you get the two textures there. Just wonderful. Now, to finish this off, this shallot mixture has just been sitting here so it's softened nicely and we'll just sprinkle that over. There's something about the nuttiness of the kale and Brussels sprouts against the zinginess of the vinegar and the sweetness of the shallots. Just works so nice. It's very agridolce, as they would say in Italian. And then for a hint of creaminess, some goat's cheese. This is just marinated goat's cheese that I'm just going to place on top, just in small little bits like so. This is so delicious. They're actually addictive. For those who don't like Brussels sprouts, well, this will change the way you think of them. Just make them crispy in the air fryer. Makes everything delicious. <laughs>